Well, well, well. What's up, guys? You heard about international students coming back? So did I. Let's go. <laughs> We are now here. Welcome to the channel. Lockdown did not stop us to record another VLOG vlog. So again, we are in Minuar and Buda Dao, five great avenues, beautiful area in Tianjin, very European. In summer, it's absolutely spectacular. Like you have so many tourists, so many coffee shops, restaurants, places to go on a date, whatever. But there is also one thing behind me: is Tianjin Valgui Dashue or Foreign Studies University, where I graduated. Amigo. Hector is also studying his master's degree over there, so he will graduate probably in a year and a half. Maybe. <laughs> I hope. I hope so. We hope so. It's famous for the position, as you can see, it's like right in the middle of, a, of Tianjin in a very rich area. So imagine you are a student, you live in this campus, bro, you can go anywhere. Bars, clubs, nightclubs on a date for a coffee shop. It's absolutely amazing to live there as a student. But speaking of students, I, I told you I got some rumors. Um, there is one article which I call it BS. If you don't know what BS is, it means bullshit. But I explain why. There are two reasons why first says it says students from like 14 15 countries including my country Slovakia Czechia UK some uh, African countries Senegal Kenya then Russia Sri Lanka and so on and so forth they might be able to come back before Chinese New Year but hey Hector when is Chinese New Year in one week yeah exactly like almost one week or two weeks there's Chinese New Year so there's no way you can come back before <laughs> Chinese New Year but the end of the article says that Russian national ID students and, and, and students from Bangladesh will be the first batch of students who will receive Chinese student visa to come back and continue your studies in China. Now I'm talking about students. I wanted to show you, you know, the campus, but the, hey, the gold is closed, bro. What are we gonna do? We can there go. is another gate, right? Yeah, yeah, we can well, go. It's, it's too far, bro. I don't want to walk. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. But you, you said you have some new app or something. I don't know. That, how does it work? Like, basically, you need to clap twice, and that's it. Oh, is that a portal? No, 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 it's a so portal. You, oh, you, can, you, know, you can, can teleport me? Huh? You can teleport me? You can oh. teleport yourself. Portals are no fun, man. <laughs> so what, do I, what do I do? Just clap? Twice, yes, twice. Fast. Yeah! Oh. I'm here! Ah, look at that! Tianjin And that gate is still closed for fuck's sake. Ah, shit. Where's my friend? Oh, there. <laughs> there he is. There he is. <laughs> how, how was the world? Horrible. That was interesting. I haven't tried it. It works. <laughs> now, I will try it next time again. The gate is actually the gate is not closed, but I'm not a student. I'm not allowed to enter the campus. And unfortunately, I cannot show you the campus, but we can show it from above. So we will do it. And I wanted to say, as I said, as I mentioned before, Russian nationality can come back to China because there are rumors and they're not really rumors, but some Russian citizens have confirmed that they received an email from Chinese university that in spring semester 2022, they can come back to China. I don't know about that. I don't trust those messages. And I studied here. So just saying, guys. Well, that's the that's the good news and, and bad news for the rest of the world. I mean, if only Russian can come back, then... But you know, I understand. You cannot bring hundreds of thousands of people at the same time. You got to do it probably step by step. And they're probably starting with the biggest neighbor, Russia. So if Russian students can come spring semester 2022, maybe next semester some other countries and so on and so forth. But it's going to take a long time. So ah, I'm so sorry. This is my favorite restaurant in China. I kid you not, it is it. Since 2015, bro, I think I've been there over a thousand times. I've been there every day, twice a day, three times a day with my bro Andy. Bro Andy Gao, this is for you. Sometimes I went to this restaurant like four times a day. I, I don't even want to know how much money I spend in this motherfucker. So, Sha Xin Xiao Chi, we call it Pac-Man, guess why? There's a fucking Pac-Man sign on it. <laughs> Um, usually I get something else, but today I just want to have a taste for jiaozi. Jiaozi is a small dumplings filled with veggies and some meat and it's just... <laughs> oh, wait a minute, what the fuck just happened? Looks like underwater. What? 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 Okay. What happened to your camera? <laughs> 
it's suffering. <laughs> it, it was so cold outside. Okay, guys, so this is John's dumplings filled with veggies. You got a soy sauce over it over here. Ah, and then they have their own. This is a good one. It's a bit salty as well, but it's a uh, la jiao, meaning mm -hmm. spice. Spicy things. I shouldn't bring my dab on. <laughs> And then you do your quiet zone. You stir it, you stir, 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 Okay. Okay. Now you take one like this. Pour it in. Then you go. Gorilla eating jiaozu. Michael, Andy Gao, Fred, Philip, Terry, remember these good times? This was the best time. So, <laughs> this one is one more for you. Mm. Thank you for subscribing. Bye bye. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> wow, that was some good snack time. Pac Man never disappoints. Never disappoints. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, by the way, do you think that teleportation can work like in just for any, any anywhere in time? Maybe not, maybe yes. You what about try. what about USA White House? What if I try? <laughs> if I try? Never well, been to US. You can go. So like two claps? Yeah, that's it. Woo! Shit, it worked. Where am I? Is that Nah, that's a little small White House. Nah. Is that house? Where, where are we, my, my friend? You Amigo, are... where are we? <laughs> the, am I in USA? Is that no, a White House? Yes, yeah, the White House. But you have no American visa. So, oh, that, you're the only White House you can uh, be right so now. So it didn't work because I don't have an American visa? Exactly. So that, this guy knows White nothing. House? Is that a small White House? Yeah. Xiao Bai Lo? Xiao Bai Lo. <laughs> We're still in Tianjin, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> so this is Tianjin Xiao by Lao Tianjin small white house. Look how beautiful is it, bro? It's a concert hall. Anyway, what I wanted to say about students last thing, it was mentioned that um, if Russian nationality students are coming, they should prepare more than 30,000 kwai because we have to quarantine in Russia for at least a month in and Russia? then three weeks over here. So overall, it's still complicated to come back, but you know, slowly changing. So hopefully guys, you can come back soon and make, make this city, make China student life fucking awesome. I don't know even what I want to say, but I just miss you guys because this city without students is a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to make it like it was before. It will never be like before, but it could be better. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this vlog. I just wanted to update you with the inf latest information I got from some articles about students coming back to China, Tianjin, wherever you want, whenever you want. <laughs> anyway, it's time to check out. Peace out. Next time.